believe that believers are to contend for the faith. You know, the faith is what the enemy is after. If the enemy can get us to fear, then that detours our efforts and our work for the Lord. And so in Jude, uh, the third verse, uh, let's, let's read together. Uh, Dear friends, although I was very eager to write to you about salvation that we share, I felt I had to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once entrusted to all the saints. You know, this we fight the good fight of faith. You know, the Apostle Paul said, I have finished my course. I have fought the good fight of faith. And so I'm asking you today, are you contending for the faith? Or have you laid down and let the enemy stomp all over you, come in, take your family, take your marriage, take your finances, take your children and your grandchildren, take the ministry that God has for you, your destiny and your purpose? Or are you contending for those things? Are you fighting for those things? You know, this is the, the time of the Lord where Jesus wants to manifest himself in your life and in your situation. You know, and our weapons are not carnal. It says so in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Uh, I'm reading from verse 4. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. They're not carnal. They're not like guns and knives and other swords, but they are mighty. They have the divine power to demolish or pull down strongholds. And if there is a stronghold in your life, Maybe it's a sickness. Maybe it's a disease. Uh, maybe it's a mental illness, a disorder. Those are strongholds. And they can be brought down with the mighty weapons of God. You know, the Word of God is a weapon. It is a sword. Let's go over to Ephesians uh, chapter 6. And it says, put on the whole armor of God that you might withstand or contend with the enemy. I'm in chapter 6 of Ephesians, and it says here in verse 10, Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. This is the time that He is pouring out more of His power. He just said to my husband and I, Sunday night as we left the, the prison service that we had uh, done, He said, more power. For your ministry and all those connected to your ministry, I am pouring out more power and more energy. I say thank you, Jesus, because we need it in order to contend for the faith. Put on the whole armor of God. See, some people are running around naked. They only have the helmet of salvation on and the rest of their armor has been laid aside. And therefore, they're, they're uh, an easy target for the enemy to come and to pierce them uh, with, his, uh, with the words and with actions and with deeds. It says here that you may stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against the authorities and the powers of the darkness and in the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realm. There put, put on the whole armor of God. You know, there are seven pieces of the armor. There are, there's the helmet uh, that, you know, it's wonderful to be saved and delivered from, from hell and to have a ticket to heaven. But let me tell you something, there's so much more than that in daily living. Just daily living from one day to the next day to the next day. We must contend for the faith. What faith? The faith of the Lord Jesus Christ that we live by. That's what it says in Galatians 2.20. That you are dead, but nevertheless you live, and you live by the faith of the Son of God who died and gave himself for you. 
It says that we stand because we have all these other the, all, all these other pieces on us. It says that we have the breastplate of righteousness. We have our feet or our our shoes are are made with the gospel of peace, and wherever we go, we carry that peace. It says here in and stand firm with the belt of truth on, that we know the truth and the truth has set us free. It says here that we're going to use our swords, which is the, the word of God. And we're going to put up that shield, and that shield is faith. Our shield, Jesus is our shield and our buckler, and this is what the word of God is. It is a shield, it is a buckler unto you so that you can contend for the faith. In 2 Timothy, it says in 2 Timothy that we are not to get involved with the things of this world. It says if we are a soldier, if you are a good soldier, then you are not to get involved. I'm in ver uh, chapter 2, uh, verse 3 of 2 Timothy. You know, the Apostle Paul was encouraging young Timothy, and he said uh, here, Endure hardship with us like a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one serving as a soldier gets involved in civilian affairs. And in the King James it says that we are not to get involved in the affairs of this life. They are not important. What is the important thing? Is that you contend for the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ so that you may fulfill destiny and you may fulfill purpose. This day, I encourage you to fight the good fight of faith and contend for the faith. Thank you for viewing.